In this video, we will uncover the stories of the seven most incredible soldiers in history who displayed unparalleled bravery, skill, and heroism on the battlefield. From ancient warriors to modern-day military heroes, these individuals have left a lasting legacy that continues to inspire people around the world. Join us as we explore the remarkable feats and accomplishments of these amazing soldiers who have earned their place in history. Stay tuned to learn about the extraordinary individuals who have shaped the course of warfare with their courage and determination. Action movies have taught us that there are invincible soldiers. No matter how many bullets they take, how many times they get wounded, or if an entire army fights against them, they never die. Many will agree that these are nothing more than fallacies and fabrications of the big screen in Hollywood. However, today I will tell you the story of seven soldiers who broke this paradigm. Immortal soldiers, extravagant soldiers, fearless soldiers with their pants up to their chins, who show us once again that reality far surpasses fiction. Without further ado, get ready to meet the seven most fascinating soldiers in history. Audie Murphy The story of Audie Murphy might sound familiar to several of you. A young man of short stature, very thin build, with a musculature that was lacking, and rejected on more than one occasion by the Marine Infantry and the Paratrooper School. This young man, who was believed to be of no use in the war, became the most decorated American soldier of World War II. Marvel was inspired by his story to create Captain America. However, Adi did not have superpowers but rather a great fighting spirit and incredible marksmanship. The event that propelled Adi Murphy from warrior to legend was during the Battle of Colmar Pocket in France, where he was attacked by six tanks and multiple enemy soldiers. His unit of 128 men had been reduced to just 19. Murphy ordered the remaining men to retreat while he fired at the Germans until he ran out of ammunition. He climbed onto a burning tank, took the .50 caliber machine gun, and fired until he reduced the German infantry. He was shot in the leg but did not stop. He returned to his unit, organized them to attack the Germans, and eventually expelled them. This action earned him the Medal of Honor the highest award for any American military, one more to add to his 37 medals. After his service, Adi became an actor and participated in multiple cowboy and war movies. Unfortunately, Adi Murphy suffered severe post-traumatic stress, which caused him terrible depression. On May 28, 1971, he died in a plane crash at the age of 46. His grave is one of the most visited and revered in the U.S., second only to John F. Kennedy's grave. Yogendra Singh Yadav Yogendra Singh Yadav is an Indian military man who defied death and became a legend in the pages of history. Yogendra was a member of the Grenadier Battalion during the conflict between India and Pakistan in 1999. Yogendra's mission and his teens was to climb Tiger Hill and destroy three enemy bunkers at the top. Yogendra Singh, the volunteer, began climbing the gigantic ice wall, risking becoming a victim at any moment. The nearby group of lookouts fired at Yogendra and subsequently emptied a hail of bullets over his position. Half of his squad died. Yogendra kept climbing after being hit by three bullets. Upon reaching the top, he threw a grenade into the first bunker, killing everyone inside. He ran towards the second bunker under a hail of bullets and killed the four soldiers inside. The third bunker was easily taken by Yogendra and his team. Yogendra was awarded the Param Vir Chakra. India's highest military decoration, given for supreme gallantry. Only 21 people have received this recognition, and less than half lived to tell about it. Yogendra Singh ended up with a fractured leg, a broken arm, 10 to 12 bullet wounds in his body, and a great satisfaction of duty fulfilled. Alvin York Alvin York was a young American lost in alcohol and street fights, but his life changed radically when he was notified of his mandatory military service. He discovered his talent for shooting firearms and was sent to war. In one of his first suicidal missions, Alvin had to assault fortified machine guns in a German camp. His command was wiped out, and Alvin was left alone against 32 machine guns and multiple German soldiers. Through a game of run-shoot-hide, Alvin took down 20 German soldiers and executed five others. A German commander surrendered, and Alvin captured 133 Nazi prisoners, reporting to his superior. Leo Major At 19, Leo Major enlisted in the Canadian Army and participated in the Normandy landing. He survived and ventured into enemy territory, encountering a German armored vehicle and eight soldiers, whom he gunned down. 
A phosphorus grenade left him blind in one eye, but he continued fighting. Months later, a mine broke his spine, but he insisted on continuing with just an aspirin. Leo liberated prisoner camps and the city of Svola in the Netherlands through psychological strategies. He participated in the Korean War performing impetuous feats. Leo Major passed away on October 12, 2008. Jack Churchill Jack Churchill, an adventurous and rebellious Englishman, stood out in World War II with his medieval bow and sword. He landed in Norway with a sword, causing enemy casualties and earning his second military cross. He captured dozens of Nazis with his sword in Italy and was captured by the Nazis in Yugoslavia. He escaped from a concentration camp and was recaptured by the Gestapo. After the war, Jack appeared in some movies and died peacefully in 1996 at his home in southeastern England. Bombig de Garan Bombig de Garan, known as the Nepali Rambo, was responsible for clearing five fortified positions with a bayonet, grenades, and a stone. In 1940, he joined the British Army and participated in World War II. On March 5, 1945, Bombigda ran under a hail of bullets, eliminating bunker occupants with grenades, bayonet, and a stone. The Gurkhas took the positions and the enemy retreated. After the war, Bombigda refused to keep fighting to care for his family and died in 2008 at the age of 86. Adrian Cardin de Wired Adrian Cardin de Wired, an extravagant British officer, joined the army in 1899 and was wounded multiple times in various conflicts. He lost an eye and a hand but continued fighting in World War I, taking seven bullets and losing his left hand. In World War II, he led operations against the Nazis and was captured by the Italians, escaping from a POW camp. At 60, he led missions in China and died in 1963 at the age of 83. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with upcoming videos.